it's my birthday. And what better to do on my birthday than go trucking? <laughs> Okay, hang on. Don't fall off again, okay? I drove over you last time you fell off. Inflated. Dun, dun, dun. Everything looks good. Lights working. Mud flaps in place. More mud flaps. Wow, things got lots of mud flaps. Not throwing any rocks at this trailer. Good. Well, everything is latched. All these things are latched. Fantastical. A little bit cold out. I'm pretty sure it's going to warm up today. As the sun comes up, let's uh, check the forecast here. So I woke up, it was minus seven. It's now minus five. The temperature's going all the way up to plus 12. And tomorrow, plus 16. Oh, this whole weekend is gonna be great. Nice. I'm just waiting for the ground to thaw a little bit more. So maybe next weekend, we'll rent the skid steer so that we can go and clear our land. I wanted to do that this weekend because it's a long weekend, but I don't want to waste my money and get the machine too early. I want to make sure that the ground is soft so that I can pull all those little trees out, right? Without running into any of the frost that's further down into the ground. So we can wait a little bit. We'll go to the land though and check it out. Bring our pressure washer there. Give the camper a good water. Oh, I don't have water there. That's right. I'm going to figure that out. Huh. We have to get a well dug soon. Okay, let's pull this thing out of here. Make sure it's attached first. And she's not going anywhere. Okay. Off we go, two hours to the north. I brought my winter jacket with me just in case it gets cold. Because it's always colder in 
in Arbor than it is down here. Come with me, my little trailer friend. We've got work to do. It's the last day of the week, too. And it's my birthday. Wow! And we're trucking. Today is definitely a good day. Gotta get my uh, gate opener ready. I used to have to drive right up to the gate to get it to open. Now I got this fancy little like, garage door gate opener type thing. So usually, if I don't go too fast, I can roll up to the gate and it's open by the time I get there. Come on. Come on. I'm clicking the button. I'm clicking the button. Come on. It works from way further away on the other side. Come on. There you go. Oh, I've been pretty close on this side for it to open, but on the other side, I can be way out there on the road. That's interesting. Not a big deal. They're back there throwing stuff on my trailer right now. Just in here staying out of their way. They should be almost done by now. I've been here for, uh, I'm sorry, she's gonna yell at me. You have 11 hours and eight minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you, but that's not what I was asking, but two hours and seven minutes since I've gotten here. Uh, they had to load another guy before me. They were just finishing up with him. And then I guess they took their break and then they came to uh, load me up. So now they're almost done already, so it's it's not taking too long, but well, by the time we get out of here, it'll probably be close to 12.30, 1 o'clock. It's 11.45 right now. Uh, when I get back, I'm going to uh, take a little bit of a lunch break. We're going to run into Winnipeg. Uh, Britt has some fertility uh, prescriptions. They're new prescriptions. They put us on, uh, or put her on new stuff this time around because it still didn't take last month uh, with the IUI. So... Uh, we're still working with the fertility doctors there. Uh, we got one more shot with IUI and they're they're changing up her prescription. So anyway, I'm taking my lunch when I get back and running into Winnipeg, I gotta go to, I gotta go to a special pharmacy. I gotta be there during business hours because they close at 5.30 because anyone with a regular job apparently can't get there then. <laughs> I always wonder like when they close down these places, most people wanna go get this stuff after work, but no, they're only open during business hours. So it is what it is. Uh, I arranged that I could take my lunch break and then uh, quickly run into town, pick those up for her. I'm not sure what they are, but they're supposed to be a little bit stronger than the last ones she was on. And then we got one more month of IUI yet. Uh, what, what would, how would you explain it? Uh, where they drop my guys off at the finish line. Uh, one more month of that. And then the doctors want to start moving us towards IVF, which is going to be a uh, $15,000 price tag. So, uh, needless to say, we won't be jumping on that bandwagon right away, but that is our next step if we choose to go the next step, which we will. We will, if that's what it comes to. We will try that out, but we'll probably take a year off of all fertility uh, and just go natural uh, the way it was intended to be, you know, and try to get pregnant naturally. And if that doesn't work, then in a year, we're going to try to save up this money that we need. Hopefully, we don't want to finance this at all. We really want to save up. So we have to work really hard this next year, save up all of our money. We're also trying to save up to build a house right now. So there's a lot of things going on. It's a little discouraging. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to let it get me down because we're going to make it a good day today. One day at a time. All right. Every day we're going to wake up. It's uh, today is going to be a good day, even though there's a lot of stress, well, not stress, but a lot of frustration and disappointment with this whole fertility journey, because there's nothing wrong, as far as the doctors can tell, with me or her, the connection just isn't being made, and uh, 
we're very thankful for modern, like I've said this before, I won't repeat myself too much, but we're thankful for modern advances and modern medicine that we can uh, try these things out. And so the next step anyways would be IVF, which is in vitro, where they take my guys and then they, I, I could probably explain this in a different video for you guys, I won't get into it now. How about you just Google it if you are interested in what it is, IVF, it's called in vitro, uh, IVF. I don't know what the F stands for. In vitro, oh, in vitro fertilization. I think that's what it's called, right? Uh, you guys can look it up if that's what you're interested in. If not, I won't bore bore you with it right now. We'll talk about it in the future, because uh, like I said, it's an expensive thing to do, and if we do go down that journey, it will be in 2022. I'm guessing we're gonna take a year off to uh, uh, just save up and prepare for that. Anyways, trucking. Let's go see what they got on the trailer so far, shall we? There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here's another crate right here. Oh, oh boy. That looks fun. Oh, yeah. We're looking really high up there. Is that going to fit under my... Yeah, it should. It should. They measured it out. It looks taller than what they said. They said it was going to be eight feet high. Is that look eight feet high up rolled the tarps the rolling tarps all the way from the back to the front so they can load the back now i think they're done but i'm just waiting for confirmation that they don't want to put something on top of that there yet or move it around they've changed it a couple of times to make it fit right so just to make sure that they're done this is all finished in here tied down ready to go so this green Roll tight trailer or rolling tarps, whatever you want to call it, Conestoga trailer. This trailer is going to San Jose, California. And it's April 1st, my birthday today. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be in California around the end of next week. So keep your eyes open around the, the Bay Area there, right? That's the Bay Area, isn't it? San Jose. And on the way there, they'll probably cross through, go through Montana and uh utah nevada maybe oregon i'm not sure which route they're gonna take i wish i was taking it but i am needed at home and i am needed close by here so someone else is going to be hooking onto this trailer very soon and pulling it all the way down there if you do see them give them a little wave don't creep them out they may not know who i am but <laughs> give them a little wave maybe give them the arm pump see if they'll honk the horn okay is just finished up he's just tagging it and then i'm gonna roll the tarps over and take it back home someone's waiting to take it to san jose it's pretty neat eh long trip ahead of it Button her all up here. I'm gonna do this with one hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold you with this one. I'm pull that over there to the grabs. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Put you down. That's it, that's all it takes to tighten them. These rental trailers are the best Conestogas I've pulled so far. Which, which isn't a lot, but this design is way better than the, the design of the blue ones. Better close that up before I forget. Wouldn't want to do that. There you are. I knew I dropped you around here somewhere. And that's how you tarp a load. 
Trucker Josh style. I love these things. I really do. What a brilliant invention. We should all throw a party for whoever was the first one to think of this. Brilliant people. Brilliant people. Oh, we better close the door. I may not be as brilliant as the creator of the Conestogas here, but... Lights on. And off we go. Took a little bit to get loaded here, but there was a lot to do. It was very uh, complicated, lots of little pieces. get to see them but like I said I only touch the cars if I have to and I'm not going to go opening up trailer doors just to go you know sniffing around looking for cars but uh, if they were going to have them out here if the customer was going to come pick them up or something I wanted to get a quick video of them but I'll, I'll maybe I'll post the pictures my dad uh, sent me of them if I can remember to put them in here <laughs> when I'm editing this it's my birthday when I'm going to be putting this together and editing it, okay? So I might rush through it a little bit, okay? I only get one birthday a year. We'll see, I might just edit it tomorrow. Whenever you get it. So if you're looking for a spot for this trailer, yeah. So there's no spots left. It must be close to a long weekend. The yard's already packed, it's quarter to four in the afternoon. Every weekend the yard gets pretty packed because a lot of the drivers, they want to be home on the weekend, right? And uh, especially the long weekend, and this is Easter weekend, which is a big one. So a lot of our drivers want to be home with the family Easter weekend. Oh, there's a spot right there. I might take that one. I'm gonna have to go turn around over there though. There's that guy in front of me also who's creeping around looking for some parking spots.
one fluid motion the way it should be. I just got the all clear to head home. Maybe because it's my birthday. Maybe because there's nothing left to do. I don't know. But I did arrange it with them. I have to run into Winnipeg right now real quick to grab that uh, prescription for Brit. Just putting these uh, belly pads under here because this is only asphalt. You don't want to put a loaded trailer or an empty trailer, but uh, especially not a loaded trailer on the asphalt. It'll, in the, in the hot sun, it'll sink right in and ruin the asphalt. And then guess who gets to uh, fix it? It's always so windy. Always windy. Yeah, so. Wish me a happy birthday this morning and uh, I want to pick up this load now. And he knew that uh, I had to go and pick up that prescription. Because for some reason, like I was telling you before, this pharmacy closes at 5.30. Like most people only get off work at like 4 to 5. Then they gotta quickly rush there and speed there just to get their prescriptions before they close. That doesn't make sense. You'd think they'd at least be open to like, I don't know, 7 o'clock, at least, maybe 8 o'clock. Whatever. We're gonna go get her, uh, her stuff for fertility and we're gonna head home. My birthday weekend. My head is like Velcro with my tube now when I take it off. Yeah, it wants to stick to my head. Oh, right. Oh, right. Let the long weekend begin. My birthday long weekend. Oh, the things we're going to do. Like sitting on the couch. <laughs> Doing nothing. It's going to be great. You know what's kind of interesting? This pharmacy is right across from the St. Boniface Hospital in Winnipeg. It's my birthday today and the St. Boniface Hospital is where I was born. 33 years ago, Please I was... turn right onto Tash Avenue. Excuse me. I got her connected through my Bluetooth. 33 years ago, I started my life right at this hospital here. You'll see it in a second. Onto Tash Avenue, then turn right onto Rinella Place. Aye, aye. I think I know where I'm going now. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. See, so, yeah, like I was trying to say, 33 years ago, I was a brand new life form. A brand new life. I've never actually come back to this hospital on my birthday, I don't think. Not that I can remember, anyways. Interesting coincidence, eh? We're gonna turn on to Tache Avenue here. And this hospital on the left with the big cross on the top of it there. That right there is where my life began. I'm not sure what room it was, I don't exactly remember. I know I was there. But I don't remember that day that well. Now I gotta figure out where to park. Do I have to pay to park here? I really don't want to pay to park here. How do I get in their parking lot? Can I turn on this road? I am not familiar with this area at all. I haven't been here in 33 years, okay? Found a spot. And was it tight? Oh. See how tight are we talking? Oh, it's not too bad. Got her in there anyway. Got the goodie bag. They're pills. 15 pills. Gotta take three every day uh, for five days. It's supposed to be a little bit stronger than the uh, fertility ones she was on before, so it's gonna be a little bit rough on her body. Feels so bad for her. The fertility drugs that she's on, it makes her feel, I don't know, it just, it makes her 
everything sort of ache and hurt. I can't explain it. I'm not uh, in her body, but I hope these uh, go well. Let's hope this works because if it doesn't work this next month, that's our last shot uh, through the fertility clinic for at least the next year until we can arrange an IVF and then we just go naturally after that. So it's not like we have no hope if this doesn't work. It's just for the next year we try naturally and it might work naturally, who knows? It might. Uh, she has gotten pregnant before already and uh, we had a miscarriage. It was uh, pretty early on in there but uh, it, it can happen naturally as well. So, cross your fingers guys. Hoping it'll happen this next month. All right, now I gotta try to get out of this little uh, well, spot that I found myself in. I got myself in here so I can get myself out. Just gotta wait for traffic now. Come on. I'm gonna have to wiggle back and forth a little bit here. We'll wait till they're all passed. All right. Close enough. These backup cameras are amazing pieces of technology. I don't know how people survived without backup cameras. <laughs> All right, and off we go. Let's go home. Birthday weekend. You guys want to see some old French homes? Take a look to the left here on this on this road. This is the French Quarter of Winnipeg. These are some of the first French homes that would have been built here. Oh, that one's new, obviously. A lot of these have been renovated. That one looks like it's been redone recently. One thing that Winnipeg used to do when they were building their streets is they always used to build a back lane uh, behind all the houses. That's where all the garages are now and stuff. And it would separate your backyard from someone else's backyard. Nowadays in the new developments, they don't do that anymore. They have the garages out front and they have your backyard right up against your neighbor's backyard. No back lane. I miss the back lanes. I'll show you. See, there would be a, uh, a street like this here, houses on it and whatnot. And then behind would be the back lane. We'll go down this back lane to show you. How many of your towns have this as well? They don't make them like this anymore, see? So all of the vehicle traffic is back here and everyone's got a fence. So your yards are safe for your kids to play in, right? There's no people flying past. Uh, all the garages are back here. They're very small. Yeah, they're small properties, but you know, the, the properties on my left and the properties on my right are separated by this here. So you're not like right backed up against someone else's yard. Now, I like the idea of it. I don't, I don't know why they don't do it anymore, but maybe it's to save space. Cause you know, why make a whole lane in the back if you can just make it yard? I get it. I don't know. I, I say bring back the back lanes. Bring them back. They were a good idea. Weasel Diesel. He's a weasel named Diesel. Helping me edit here. We're editing outside. It's an outdoor editing kind of day. It's nice to have good weather finally. So that was a bit of a random ending to that video, I know. Talking about back lanes in Winnipeg. <laughs> hey, I talk about whatever comes to my mind. So yeah, it's uh, it's great to have the long weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying yours. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, I'm going to have a video coming out this weekend uh, as we play with that new pressure washer. I'm going to unpackage it or unbox it and set it up. Looking forward to it. Have a good Easter.